Hi friendly fans, this is part 229 of the My Little Pony game. First, let's go ahead and catch up on our limited time story from last week called Prank to the Future Part 2. You can see Rainbow Dash is working with Starlight Glimmer to pull a prank. The reward for the first boss battle is the future princess stained glass. I'm going to find a place for it here in Ponyville. There we go. And let's take a closer look at it here. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love this reward. And it took me about one day to finish up the second boss battle here. And the reward for that is 25 gems. And now we can go on to the third boss battle. The reward for the third boss battle is the Rockin' Griffin friendship student. We'll welcome him in a minute. My unused sapphires turned into three gems. Wow, let me just pick myself off the ground and process what happened to me. I remember a blimp and a marching band. Did you guys hire a psych double reverse educational prank? Trixie, Pinky, Rainbow Dash and I were in on it the whole time. Aw, I wanted to be the one who did the big reveal. But yeah, Starlight's right. Pinkie Pie got in touch with all of us right after you came to her. Yeah, helping a bunch of friendship students work together to give a couple teachers a good time without going overboard? That's a loyalty lesson and a laughter lesson rolled into one. Now, who's up for post-prank cinnamon buns? Because I am totally up for post-prank cinnamon buns. Let's go ahead and welcome our rockin' Griffin to Ponyville. That is one of the future friendship students. And let's go ahead and read the bio. The School of Friendship's future student body consists of creatures of all kinds. And that includes griffins with serious tood. Sweetie drops to heartstrings. Agent Sweetie drops to agent heartstrings. No temporal anomalies detected. We're good to go. Over and out. Also, we should totally get post-mission cinnamon buns too. Meet you at the cafe, okay? All right, so that was the ending to Prank to the Future Part 2. I got three gems from that on cloud days. Also this week, we are starting a new limited time story, Rainbow Road Trip. We did this one probably a little over a year ago. I don't remember. So we'll go over that again. Dear Rainbow Dash, Thank you for agreeing to be our guest at this year's famous Hope Hollow Rainbow Festival. The many members of your fan club look forward to your visit. That's what the invitation says. But now that we're all here, why does the whole town look shut down? And why is every pony looking at us? Darling, I think they're staring because we're the only part of the town that isn't gray. Look around. There's hardly any color here at all. And there was supposed to be a spa. Yeah, it's so strange. Everything in Hope Hollow is so gray. I wonder what could have caused this. Maybe if we can find the mayor, he'll be able to explain what's going on. Our first quest for Rainbow Road Trip is all there in black and white. And we need to send Twilight Sparkle to get her bearings. Friendship is magic. That's going to take three minutes. Twilight Sparkle is done getting her bearings. Twilight told me to handle her class assignments while she's gone. But I need a very long break. So, what's happening over here? Alright, it looks like Spike is a procrastinator. But let's claim that. Well, stuff me in an olive and call me a pimento. It's the Rainbow Dash and her friends. I'm Sunny Skies, the mayor of this lovely town, and pleased as a poplar tree to meet ya. Likewise, I'm Twilight Sparkle, and I hope you don't mind me asking, but is there a reason your town is faded? Oh, you spotted that, did ya? Well, it's a long story. Hope Hollow was different back when my grandpa Skies was mayor. The Rainbow Festival was a sight to behold then. But then, well... Fences went up. We lost track of our neighbors. I tried to use my grandpa's rainbow generator to bring some of the magic back to the festival, but it all went wrong. And now, well, here we are. 
That's why I wrote to you all. I figured if ponies of your stature came down, it would get every pony excited about putting on the festival again. Well, Mr. Mayor, there's nothing we like better than a challenge. Every pony split up and pick a part of the Rainbow Festival to help with. We'll do what we can to bring it back. Got it. I'll, uh, I'll start by saying if those two foals over there by the windmill are okay. They just fell right out of the sky. That can't be good for the festival. All right, let's check out the community tab. All of my ponies are on the group quest. I'll just have to replace each character. All right, that took a minute, but I do have seven characters to bring back generator pieces. And I bought all of these ponies as we've done um, limited time stories to help me out. So that is super. Let's go back to our story. Now we need to send Rainbow Dash to take off toward the windmill. Nice to meet you. That's going to take 15 minutes. Rainbow Dash is done taking off toward the windmill. Wow, I guess Hope Hollow has a windmill just like Ponyville does. I've never really been clear on how the geography works around here. All right, let's claim this. Pickle, why did you zig in front of me like that? I didn't zig, Barley. You zigged. I zagged. Phew, so you are okay. Guys, guys, hold on. It was just an accident. An accident that happened in front of you? I can't even look you in the eye. Yeah, me neither. All our lives we've been waiting to meet you and... Wait, so you're my fan club? Well, what do you know? That invitation was telling the truth about something. Yeah, we know all your best moves. We practice all of them every day. But we can't really do them. Do do you think maybe you could give us a lesson? Just a tiny one? Well, if you promise to listen, work hard, and practice, then sure. Show me what you got. And if I like what I see, the three of us will put on a show at the Rainbow Festival. So this task is called Wonderbolts in Training, and we need to bring eight awesome stunts. We can assign Rainbow Dash and Twilight Sparkle. You can also buy Pickle Barrel for $7.99 to help you out. So this task will take more than one day. Each time Rainbow Dash is three and a half hours and Twilight Sparkle will take about four hours. So let's go over to my Cloud Days account and see if we can finish up any of the normal storyline quests there. All right, so we're finished with Drop and Give Spitfire 20. I've been putting my ponies on tasks. We have several quests we're working on. I'm also going to collect from all of my shops here. So let's check in on our quest. To welcome Spitfire, we need 32 more of these whistle tokens. So I'm going to have to keep working on that. That quest is called Wondrous Wonderbolts. And of course, we're still working on a friend in need. We only need seven more of these microphone tokens. And I've explained before, you don't get them every time you put a pony on task. You have a small chance of getting it. Oh my goodness, you can buy Kerfuffle. She is so beautiful. While we're in here, why don't we go ahead and try to get some of these other ponies that require tokens. And you can do this each day, in fact, I totally recommend it. I just don't remember to do this every day. Look, we can get Coloratura's Hype Pony. Let's travel over to Sweet Apple Acres. Oh, look at the cool little tour bus. So we'll put that there. And let's also check in on our quest. We need to welcome Perfect Pie. We just put all those ponies on task. So I just did that one. And once we get Perfect Pie, we'll need to play. 
one of the mini games to level her up. Let's go ahead and collect from all our shops. All right, friendly fans, now let's go ahead and visit the Crystal Empire. And I want to collect from all of my shops here because we really need some different shards to complete our quest here. And real quick, I'm going to put my crystal ponies on task to collect those crystal coins. It looks like we are finished with To Your Health. We needed to collect kindness shards. I guess that potion shop doubles as a drink stand now. Or maybe Pinky and Fluttershy set one up inside of it. And let's check in and see how many more we need for Hoist the Colors. We need 10 more shards of magic. And we need seven more shards of loyalty. Let's work on getting some new ponies. There's quite a few from the Crystal Empire that you can get with bits. The most expensive pony that I can afford right now is the blue Crystal Full. Let's go ahead and buy the blue crystal full. I'll put the house right here for now since there's space. And let's work on getting this firework shop if we can. So apparently we need to work on a group quest. I'm gonna do the middle one. Oh my Celestia! Twilight's going to Yak Yakistan! An official princess of friendship business! And I, Pinkie Pie, honorary Yak, am going with her! All right, let's assign characters. I'm just going to assign ones. If we need to replace characters, that's fine. Oh no, how will we even get to Yak Yakistan with this avalanche blocking our only way through the mountains? There's got to be a creative solution. All right, so let's choose fly over. I'm not sure that that was the right answer. I think you get more points if it's the correct one. We made it, though we had to spend a little extra time airlifting the unicorns and earth ponies over to solid ground. We're still doing okay though. All right, so the only thing I really hate is that you have to wait 12 hours in between or watch a bunch of ads. So I'll keep working on that. Okay, let's go to our map. I think we should visit Canterlot next. I don't have any new quests over here, just the Ra Ra quest. We've already done that, so let's go ahead and collect from our shops. And we'll see if we can clear the place of changelings. Here's a couple, let's get this Pinkie Pie changeling first. Hopefully Fluttershy won't run away. These, of course, take loyalty shards. I got a gem from that. Ooh, I saw a rainbow dash, but let's go over here. Oh, there's Derpy. Down you. Now we can click on Fluttershy. This one takes kindness shards to get rid of. All right, there was a dashy change link right there on the bridge. This is the third one we found, and this one takes generosity shards. Oh, there is a twilight sparkle. She tried to hide behind this decoration. I got a gem for that. Oh, look. <laughs> They're all coming out to talk to Derpy. I've actually never seen that before. Speaking in fancy. There's a whole little meeting out here. I kind of feel like that's an update to the game because I've been playing a long time and I've never seen all the ponies come out to meet Derpy. There should be one more changeling around here somewhere. 
Oh, there's one here that I missed last time, I guess. This one takes honesty shards to get rid of. And that one gave me a gem. So I got three gems in Canterlot today. Let's go to the Everfree Forest. I'll see how many gems I can collect by getting rid of these plunder vines. I'm gonna speed it up so that um, it doesn't take quite so long. There's one gem. Also, let's collect our totem from Zipporah's hut. There's one hiding here. I don't think I can tap on it because it thinks I'm trying to collect the ingredient even when I zoom in. Oh, look. That was lucky. <laughs> Let's try this one. I haven't been able to get rid of it. No, that one is very hidden behind the ingredient. So when that happens, sometimes you have trouble getting rid of those vines. That tricky one was the last one, so let's go ahead and travel to Kluge Town. Here we're working on just one quest. This is called Out on Parole. Again, we need to send Twilight to hash out a work release program at Verko's Mansion. And let's go ahead and send Verko to plan Kluge Town improvements at home. And we can collect from our shops here. Now we have enough bits to also buy hefty Kluge Towner. I'm gonna make a space. And actually, I rearranged my Kluge Town this week. There might be a space here by this lighthouse. Let's try that. If it's a four by four space, it will work. All right, so let's go ahead and put that there. You can see I did little walkways to follow to each new area. So I'm kind of pleased with how it came out. And you can always rearrange later. I didn't check out the characters in Ponyville. In Ponyville, I have enough of these heart gems to get Mayor Mayor. So let's go ahead and find a place for her to live. We definitely need the Mayor of Ponyville. We'll put her house here for now. Of course, you can always rearrange. Let's go ahead and buy the hospital. I think the hospital takes a 5x5 five five space. Hopefully we have enough room here. Oh good, we have enough space there. So let's go ahead and start building the hospital. It's going to take 16 hours. And Mayor Mayor's official residence will take 16 hours. For cloud days, I didn't have as many of the helpers to bring back generator pieces, so let's see if I can afford any of these. We'll start with the 10 times pony, Petunia Paleo, and I have just enough to get her. So let's go ahead and buy her. I think I have enough space here. And let's see how long her house will take. 15 hours to build Paleo's pad, but she will help us out in our limited time story. And that is going to be the end of part 229 of the My Little Pony game. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out JoJo's Science Show, where JoJo and Grace do lots of fun science experiments. I love you, friends, and I hope you have a fabulous day.